Hello, I took the old async project from the older video and just changed the client GUI. I removed the text box and added some controls pertaining to a person, so the name of the person, their age, and whether or not they're male. And what we're going to do is we're going to send data, uh, serialized data regarding the, the person's input to the server and then display it on the server. First we need to create a class to uh, serialize and deserialize this data. And I call it I call them package classes because they are just sending packages and receiving packages. So let's um, add a class. Call it person package. So let's declare our properties here. So is male would be a bool. I do believe bools account for one byte now. They used to be two. Public um, int. We'll use a u short actually for the age. I'd be surprised if somebody was over 65,000 years old. And we're going to declare a string. Let's call it name. Now let's create some constructors for the person package. We want to be able to construct the package normally, so bool, mail, int, or sorry, u short, age, string name. Okay, now we want to be able to construct the person package using a byte array. In this case, we are going to deserialize uh, data. So byte array data. Okay, and we're going to do first the bool here is male. So let's assign to the property is male is equal to bit converter dot boolean pass in our byte array specify that it's going to be at the very start then we're going to do the age age is equal to bit converter dot two short to int 16 being the short data and it's going to be at index one because it needs to be ahead of the um, is mail data to un16 okay and so this is going to account for two bytes so 16 bits that means that we're going to have to move up to the index three to retrieve the string so name is equal to encoding dot ascii at get string and we're going to pass in our data specify our index our index will be three now we can do this two ways we can pass in the amount of data received for the buffer uh, using the return data from the methods our asynchronous methods to calculate how long the string will be or we can put the uh, length of the string in front of the string and that would actually probably look a bit better and um, so that's what we're going to do and especially for the sake of the video because it's going to be focused on uh, serialization and deserialization of object data and um, so that's what we're going to do so we need to get the length of the string after the age and then comes the string so the length of the string is going to be a 32-bit integer and that's going to be four bytes. So int um, name length is equal to bit converter to u int well to int32. Just gonna use a normal int. And we're gonna pass in data 
and our start index is going to be 30. Now that we have our name length, we can use that to get our string. So name length. So we're probably going to have to actually do seven because there's four bytes. Uh, three plus four is seven. So that's what we're going to do. Now we need to create a two byte array method to serialize the data. So public byte array two bytes. Or we could do two bytes. But I'm going to do two byte array because that's two bytes is kind of general. Could be referring to a list or a stack of bytes, you never know. So two byte array. So we are now going to serialize the, the data here. And I always use a list of bytes. It just makes it so easy to keep things organized. So byte list is equal to new list byte. So we are first going to add the ismail um, property here. So byte list, add range. We're going to add a range of bytes being uh, bit converter dot get bytes and the is mail property and we're going to do the same thing for the other values add range age so bit converter get bytes age and now we need to get the length or we need to pass in the length of the string first because it can be a variable length bit converter get bytes name dot length and now we're going to pass in the actual string so encoding um, ASCII gets uh, bytes and our string being the name property. And now we need to return the array, so return byte list to array. Okay, that'll do for this package. Now I'm going to copy the person package class to the um, server project so we can use it and it's got to be the same on both the server and the client side okay let's go take a look at where we're actually sending data so here's where we're sending or constructing our data into a byte array we're just going to ignore that and we're going to create our package here so let's do that right now person package gonna have to add the namespace and person package person is equal to new person package we're gonna pass in our values here so um, check I don't even think I uh, labeled my controls here check mail uh, nud age text employee so it's all good okay so try this again check mail dot checked being a bool, whether or not the person is male, and the age, so numeric up down, value, and the name. The name's going to be text employee. We're dealing with employees, I suppose. And this needs to be an int. So this needs to be a U short. I forgot about that. Okay, now that we have our person object created. We can use the person object like this. So down here I'm going to type in person two byte array. And I definitely can't do that. Sorry. I'm just going to assign it to the buffer up here. And we're going to go back to using the buffer because I do need to specify the length of the buffer. Okay, I'm going to go over to the server form code and 
we're going to take a look at what we need to do to deserialize the um, data. So in the receive callback, this is where we need to deserialize. Let me just uh, clean this up a bit. So there's no need to do this anymore, shrink and resize this stuff. And now all we need to do is create a person object once more, a person package. I kind of got my namespaces all mi mixed up, so it doesn't really work out. Um, now we're going to pass in our buffer since it's been written to in the because we are in the receive callback. And now that we've constructed our person package uh, by passing in data, we can actually just access all the values and print them out to the text box. So I'm going to get rid of this down here. And this right here, we don't need this. And let's uh, add, or sorry, I can't do that. That's um, illegal cross-threading. So append a text box. We're going to append some stuff. Um, name. We're also going to append the age. And is a male, a man guy. Okay, let's run our client and our server and see how it worked. I'm going to start it up and I'm going to type in my name, Ismail, I'm five years old, connect, send it, and over in the server it's going to tell me that my name is Brian, I'm five, and I'm a man guy. That's it for this video, see you later.